Thank you, Michael. Major difference, that's for sure. And one year ago, that same tornado that slammed into the New Iberia Medical Center actually began its track by first touching down in the Southport subdivision that was nicknamed Ground Zero. News 15's Dracar Francois is live in that neighborhood with a look at how residents are recovering a year later. Dracar. Taylor, I'm standing here in the Southport subdivision here in New Iberia where the tornado came through and ripped through many of the homes, damaging a lot of them. And since then, neighbors tell me that they've been trying to pick up the pieces. To hear the, the, the warning that we had and a friend of mine called me and he told me about it and I was on the phone with my daughter and I walked to my front door and then within less than a minute, uh, that's all you could hear was just noise. Johnny Dressel says moments later, the tornado touched down near his home. He says once he heard the noise of the tornado's roar, he ran to his front door trying to protect anything he could. Uh, that's probably less than 30 seconds to a minute. I was holding my door and holding my wall, and the pressure was so intense inside the trailer to move a quarter of an inch was impossible. Then once the trailer wall started busting, I was able to move and get out of it as soon as possible. Dressel's home was one of the many in the neighborhood that saw lots of damage. He says it took months and more than $50,000 in repairs for another home in his subdivision. In the Southport subdivision, some homes have yet to be repaired and debris from the tornado is still in the trees and on the ground. I also spoke with the mother. She says her son was home alone when the tornado hit. You have faith and go and check up on him. And I just came running down the street. When I looked right at him, man, they had nothing. It, I mean, it was just flipped over. She says minutes went by, but eventually her son came out of the debris with only minor injuries. And I just kept hollering for Connor. And then eventually he came out, he was on top of the debris and he just, hey mom. Now Stephanie also says it's been a struggle with her home being that it still isn't repaired after a year that the tornado hit. But she says she hopes to move back into her home in the new year. Live in New Iberia, Drake Hart Francois, News 15.